So you want to know the secret to losing weight, right? Well, it's pretty simple. I know the secret of weight loss. It's running 10 kilometers every day, right? No, I got this one. I know what the secret of losing weight is. Diet pills. Nope. I know the secret of weight loss. It's lifting weight, right? Guess again. So, you want to know the secret to losing weight, right? Well, it's pretty simple. Eat less calories. <laughs> yes, eating less calories. That's it. Is it working out? No. Is it all the things I just mentioned in the beginning of this video? No. It's eating less calories. Now, don't get me wrong. Incorporating uh, exercise and, you know, the mantras and is good for overall health and fitness and just overall health in general. But to lose weight specifically, you do not need to do that. What you need to do is eat less calories. Okay. Now I have fell down the Greg Doucette rabbit hole. Okay. I admit it. Not somebody I would usually watch. Not at all. Uh, but we have since we have crossed paths in many videos where um, people that I watch have done videos on Greg and Greg's on videos on them. And I'm like, okay, who is this Greg guy? You know, no offense, Greg, but I thought he was just a meathead bodybuilder, no substance, all brawn, no substance. Right. But I'm sorry, Greg, if you're watching this, I was totally wrong. He has pretty awesome advice on how to lose weight. Okay. And how to stay lean while staying full. Okay. That's important because as you know, if you've watched any of my videos, I suffer from binge eating at night, like more often than not. Unfortunately, I binge eat, but here's the thing. Uh, if you follow Greg's advice and eat low calorie dense foods like fruits and vegetables and just um, foods that are like high, like nutritious um, but low calories, so you can eat a shit ton of them and not gain weight, right? How many calories is lettuce? Not very much. You could eat a ton of lettuce and that just sheer volume alone will fill you up, right? So it's, I swear, <laughs> follow Greg. I'm not even joking. Like I said, not someone I would typically follow, not someone that I, like, I never ever thought I would click on his videos. Like, they just... I just thought it was clickbaity crap, but you know what? It's clickbaity awesome advice. So uh, check out Greg Doucette. He's just, he has this, if you're looking to lose weight while staying full and therefore, therefore way less likely to binge eat, check out his advice. It's just, he doesn't cut corner. Like he, he just cuts the chase. He doesn't bullshit. It's just, it's good advice. Just he speaks the truth. He has a cookbook, right? And that's what most people try. They say they buy Greg's anabolic cookbook. I haven't bought it. Sorry, Greg, but it's $99. Um, that's not the reason why I haven't bought it. I just, uh, I, I eat plant-based. So a lot of the things I'd have to substitute anyways. So blah, 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 excuses, excuses. I don't have his cookbook, but most people have his cookbook, but and they recommend it. Even people that don't usually, that don't follow Greg either, they try his cookbook and they're like, holy shit, these recipes are awesome. They're filling and they're really low calorie. So like, you're going to lose weight if you eat less calories than what you burn. All right. I, last week, for example, I ate less calories than normal and I did not exercise more in fact, I exercised less because it's September and, you know, life is back. Summer's over. Kids are back and they're not in school, but, you know, kids are back doing school things. And I get my workouts in, I get my workouts in when I get them in. Okay, that's the bottom line. I fit them in whenever I can. And so it's less than it has been all summer. But guess how much weight I lost last week, guys? Mind you, coming off of a binge, a hardcore 
binge fest for about two weeks, not straight, but you know, off and on for two weeks, I was binging. So keep that in mind. But I lost 13 pounds last week. Okay. I was one, I weighed in at 168 pounds and the week before I weighed uh, 181. Okay. And what did I do that was different? I ate less calories. Yes, I ate less calories. I did not exercise more. As I just said, I did not fit it in. I ate less calories, okay? I feel like Greg right now. He likes to yell, but um, maybe that's just how he gets through. I don't know. I honestly don't feel like he's yelling at me. I feel like he's yelling to me, okay? But it's a difference. I don't feel like I'm getting chastised. I just feel like he's really trying to get his point across because it is so fucking simple. It's not hard to understand. It is simple and people screw it up all the time, right? He always critiques people that make his recipes and then he has this uh, anabolic uh, French toast. It's French toast recipe that he uses um, this Walden Farms pancake syrup, which is zero calories, right? That's awesome. Zero calories. So you can, or maybe it's 20. I'm sorry, Greg. I can't remember exactly how many it is, but I'm pretty sure it's like close to zero calories. So you can use almost twice as much of that pancake syrup than you can of regular maple syrup. And, um, someone made his recipes and put maple syrup on it. And I thought he was going to go to their friggin' door and knock on it and slug them right in the mouth. Okay. So if you use, if you use full calorie maple syrup, when the point of his recipes are low calorie, because he wants you to lose weight and stay lean while staying satiated and you use full calorie maple syrup, he will come over and punch you right in the mouth. Okay. So just beware, but maybe you'll eat less. So it might not be a bad thing, <laughs> but it's his advice just makes sense. Here's the truth. I live in Canada. So honestly, using anything but pure maple syrup is blasphemy to me. But guess what? I want to lose weight. So guess what's in my Amazon cart right now? It is Walden Farms pancake syrup. Why? Because I like maple syrup. I know this won't be maple syrup, but I like syrup. I like things to taste sweet. He likes, you know, he makes things that taste good. So you will eat them, but he just makes substitutions that are low in calorie. Also, he said he uses a sweetener, stevia. Oh, hang on a second. Guess what I have? Why? Because every time I uh, make my berries in the morning, which is just frozen berries with milk and protein powder, I add a banana for sweetness because berries are typically, um, yeah, I add a banana. Hello. Well, guess what? I have a lot of bananas lately because I haven't been eating them. I haven't been putting them on my, on my berries for sweetness because I've been using stevia. Why? Because it saves me a good hundred calories, right? It's all about saving calories. It's eating less calories so you can lose more weight. Okay. That's what it's all about. So Greg Doucette, I mean, if I can figure out technology and insert clips on what he says, I will throughout this. But uh, if I can't, I'm definitely linking his videos below. Check him out. Like, if you want to lose weight and weight loss is your primary goal, which mine is now, all right? Fitness is always, I always keep fitness in mind. But right now, I want to lose my damn weight. I want to be 145 pounds by October 21st, 2020, okay? That's like a month almost exactly a month. This is actually a little less because it's September 22nd, but I am currently 168 pounds and I want to be 145 pounds by October 21st, 2020. So guess what I'm doing? I'm eating less calories. I'm making these substitutions. I'm eating way more fruits and vegetables, which I already ate a lot, but I'm cutting out the high calorie stuff like breads. I, he doesn't actually cut out breads and, and things like that, but Honestly, I haven't eaten bread in a long time anyways. Bread. <laughs> I haven't eaten bread in a long time anyways. And he makes his French toast, so he, he's not even excluding, like, breads and things like that. He's just providing you with lower calorie options. There's these wraps that you can order on Amazon that are low calorie. I honestly don't eat a lot of wraps. So I am just making sure that what I do eat is low calorie, okay? I used to think this was, like, garbage food, and I should just you know, especially when you're plant-based, like I am, uh, you watch a lot of videos and they're like, oh, use, um, you just sweeten with maple syrup or, uh, dates. Well, guess what? Those are high in calorie. Dates are really high in calories. And so is maple syrup. Guess how many calories this has? Nothing. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm, 
I just, uh, you know, and I usually, and Walden Farms, like I said, I have it in my cart to order next time I put in a, an Amazon order. I'm going to use that garbage poison and put it on my, um, I am going to make like recipes. I have recipes that use maple syrup as, syrup as sweetener. I'm going to change it up and use that. Um, get, getting more PB2. I ran out of that. So I'm going to get more. I'm not using regular peanut butter in peanut butter recipes. I'm using PB2. I'm using stevia. I'm using like, you know, I am substituting what would normally be high calorie in my diet. Even though I use natural peanut butter, there's still a shit ton of calories in peanut butter. I'm going to substituting PB2. I'm just eating lower calories. So while I'm not exactly following Greg Doucette's recipes and all that, I'm keeping his philosophy in mind. It's, I don't know if it's his, but that's who I hear in my head, his voice yelling to me, you know, eat low calorie dense foods so you can feel full. So lots of salads, lots of, you know, popcorn. He recommends, I think it's Smart Pop, Orville Rudenbacher Smart Pop. I use Air Pop. Anyways, um, just as a personal preference, but I used to put canola oil on it and um, like salt and whatever else seasoning I wanted, but now I'm using, I, I still have a big ass bowl of popcorn, but I have, I spray, um, like Pam on it, you know, cooking oil, cooking spray. So the, uh, salt sticks to it. I have, I use cook, I use the Pam spray and salt for my popcorn now on, I usually have popcorn Saturday nights. That's our movie night. And I can still have popcorn. I just substitute canola oil that I would normally put on it with just the spray and salt. Okay. So it's like, it's really, really, really doable. You just have to do it. And you have to realize, you have to know how much calories are in things. I still don't count my calories. All right. I friggin' hate counting calories, but I do have an idea of how much calories is in something and what is less than that. Okay. So if I think like, Ooh, I'm going to eat those, but that is pretty high in calories. And I think, what can I substitute that is lower calories? And then I'll eat more of it. You know, it's all about eating more, staying full and not binging. Okay. <sighs> I feel like this was a rant, but Greg, you got me. Okay. <sighs> Follow Greg. You said, that's all I can say. He is, he just speaks the truth and you want to lose weight, follow his advice. You know, it's, it, it just makes sense. If you have less calories, you burn more fat.